Hey there, good Thursday. Uh, most of the rain is out of our area, finally. Uh, we could see some scattered showers overnight. Today we had a high of 73, not quite near that record, but well above average. Our low temperature also above average. Seeing that rain off to our southeast, uh, we should remain mostly dry tonight. Maybe a scattered light shower too, maybe an isolated uh, thunderstorm in there. I want to track out the next few days though because we are expecting more severe weather. Uh, we'll see some clouds roll in tonight. Tomorrow morning we'll see those scattered showers uh, really pick up, increase, and then we'll get a little break tomorrow evening. Overnight Friday, more scattered showers into Saturday. And then Saturday afternoon, this is when we're going to start seeing heavier rain and more organized systems move through the area. This is when we're going to see that chance of severe weather again. So this will last into the evening and early morning hours on Sunday. And then our temperatures, look at that drop we're going to see some winter-like temperatures. But, like I said, we have the severe risk again for Saturday, a slight risk across our area, and we're mainly concerned with those damaging winds. Now these can knock down trees, power lines, uh, and cause damage like that. We'll see some localized flooding. I, I'm really concerned about the flooding just because of the amount of rainfall we've gotten over the last couple of days and going into the event. Large hail is possible and we could see a couple of tornadoes with this. So why does this keep happening? Well here's your ingredients for severe weather. Warm moist air at the surface, uh, strong surface wind, strong uplift, which is caused from the instability between the warm surface air and the cool upper atmosphere air and we also need wind shear or uh, increasing winds with height. So let me show you where we're getting this warm moist air for. Of course it's fed in from the Gulf of Mexico but uh, we have this high pressure system sitting out to our southeast that's really driving this tropical air from the Caribbean into the southeast. We also have cooler air aloft and that's what's going to cause the warm air to lift, condense, and form these storms. So I just want to go over one more time, uh, or in case you don't know, maybe you're new to the area, the difference between a watch and a warning. And we can substitute tornado or thunderstorm into this situation, kind of the same idea, right? So if it's a watch, we're looking out, we're seeing favorable conditions for severe weather. And once we get into the warning, that's when we could see uh, imminent danger, right? So we've seen severe weather, it's been radar indicated or spotted by a trained weather spotter. So when you see that watch, that's time to get your plan together. And when you hear that warning, it's time to take action. Whether it's a thunderstorm or a tornado, you need to be indoors. You need to be away from windows, and if you have multiple stories, uh, be on the first floor of your home. So tonight, we'll see some patchy fog, could have some scattered showers, 60 degrees. We'll have more rain tomorrow, not severe. That's on Saturday. Once that moves through, we do get a cold front. We get very winter-like weather, uh, at least for a few days, and then by midweek, we are back into above-average temperatures.